welcome back to the course of mechatronics i am mandra dadav from sid coe and let's start the presentation so today what we are going to do is to study different capacitive level measurement sensors so objective of today's presentation is to study different capacitive level measurement sensors outcome is the student will be able to explain capacitive level measurement sensors so the contents of this presentation are Uh, capacitive level measurement sensors their construction and working advantages disadvantages applications capacitive level sensors the capacitive level sensors are used for wide variety of solid or aqueous or organic liquids or slurries the technique is frequently referred as rf or as radio frequency signals applied to the capacitance circuit the sensors can be designed to sense material with dielectric constants as low as 1.1 in case of coke or flash and as a high as 88 in case of water or more sludge and slurries such as dehydrated cake or sewage slurry dielectric constant approximately 50 and liquid chemicals such as quicklime dielectric constant approximately 90 can also be sensed so capacitive level sensors the working principle is based on change of capacitance and insulated electrode acts as one plate of capacitor and the tank wall or reference electrode in non metallic vessel acts as other plate the capacitance depend on the fluid level an empty tank has a lower capacitance while a filler tank has a higher capacitance a simple capacitor consists of two electrode plates separated by a small thickness of an insulator such as solid liquid gas or vacuum this insulator in between two electrodes is called as a dielectric so basically the capacitive level sensors we are going to use for the measurement of level in the tank of different liquids or even can be used for the solid level in a tank maybe there are some solid porous materials can be stored in the tank and we need to check the level in chemical factories major times we need this application so various tanks are available with various chemicals field and we need to know uh, level of each and every uh, fluid in the tank so that mm, it will not hamper the production okay so how capacitive sensors work we have already gone through it in different presentations here again we will uh, revise that the value of c that is capacitance depend on dielectric used area of the plate that is overlapping area of the plates and distance between the plates so we can have the uh, different notations like c which is the capacitance of the capacitor measured in farads here it is in picofarads e that is the constant known as absolute permittivity of a free space k that is the relative dielectric constant of a insulating material a effective area of the conductors d distance between the conductors so thus the change in the capacitance can be measured in ac bridge so here in this capacitive level sensor so what is going to happen is the value of k that is dielectric constant is going to get vary because all other will be constants so a measurement is made by applying an rf signal between the conductive probe and the vessel wall the rf signals result in very, very low current flow through the dielectric process material in the tank from the probe to the vessel wall when the level in the tank drops the dielectric constant drops causing a drop in the capacitance reading and a minute drop in the current flow this change is detected by a level switch internal circuitry and translated into the change in the relay state of the level switch in case of point level detection in case of continuous level detectors the output is not a relay state but it is a scaled analog signal level measurement can be divided in three categories measurement of non conductive material measurement of conductive material and non contact measurement so firstly for non conducting materials for measuring level of non conducting material uh, liquids bayer probe arrangement is used as liquid resistance is sufficiently high to make it dielectric since the electrode and tank are fixed in place the distance d is constant 
capacitance is directly proportional to the level of material acting as dielectric so when the material is non conducting stored in the tank uh, obviously because of uh, because it is non conducting we can use bare electrodes uh, and uh, we need not have a want or need any coating to the probes and the material itself will act as a dielectric for conducting materials in conducting liquids the probe plates are insulated using thin coating of glass or plastic to avoid short circuiting the conductive material acts as the ground plate of the capacitor that is uh, next is that non contact type that is proximity measurements in proximity level measurement it is the area of the capacitance plates is fixed but a distance between plate varies the proximity level measurement does not produce a linear output and r when the level varies by several inches advantages of the capacitive level measurement are uh, or the use, use of capacitive sensor for level measurement are those are relatively inexpensive versatile reliable requires minimal maintenance contains no moving parts easy to install and can be adapted easily for different sizes of vessels good range of measurement from few centimeters to about 100 meter rugged simple to use easy to clean can be designed for high temperature and pressure applications disadvantages light density materials and materials with particle size exceeding half inch in diameter can be a problem due to their very low dielectric constants caused by large amount of air space between the particles so if the density of the material is low obviously air gap present will be high and it will be having very low dielectric constant so it will be difficult to measure by using this capacitive level uh, capacitive sensors so these these are few disadvantages thus we have gone through the introduction or rather the brief information regarding how levels are measured using the capacitive sensors so thank you